Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Oh, look at that. The back end just cracked. It's trying to break itself off. I don't know if it completely comes off or not. Oh, look at that. Hello YouTube, Moto Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Stormworks Build and Rescue, and yes, folks, we are back once again, and today we're going to be checking out some awesome creations. So, real quick before we jump into these creations, uh, today's theme is destructibility. So we're doing creations that can be destroyed, which I know you guys like a lot of. So, we're going to be doing that here today, all the creations are linked down in the description. Now, if you're asking, uh, like, where's multiplayer, I've, I think we've kind of decided that we do multiplayer mostly on Fridays, so if you guys have any ideas for the next multiplayer episode, comment below, but in other episodes that I do by myself, we'll do uh, creations, and then we'll probably do, like, an update slash mission episode, uh, so maybe that'll come out later this week. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions, comment below, and if you're enjoying Stormworks on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel, and let's do this. All right, so the first creation we're going to be checking out is the RMS Snowden. Now, this is a very, very cool looking ship. Let's go ahead and spawn it in. It is a little bit laggy, so hopefully it spawns in right. And, oh, it looks okay. Oh, give it a second. There it goes. So, uh, this ship has a, a very unique feature. It's not very big. And it's probably a little weird seeing the amount of lag that it causes, but there's a reason this thing lags. Now, let's go ahead and jump aboard, and I need to pull away from the dock. That way we'll uh, help out the lag just a little bit here. All right, so we are pulling out with the ship right now. We're not going to run into an island, are we? So I guess we might actually do a little bit of sinking ship survival today. Now, this might be something we can do in multiplayer with this ship. We'll have to see. Sometimes, uh... And I guess I'm going to give away a part of the ship. Uh, detachable parts, they don't always work like they should in multiplayer. Sometimes uh, it gets a little desynced and people don't see the same thing. So I'm not really sure if it's going to work with this or not. So, old style ship. It does have quite a bit of functionality. We've got a, a crane on the front here. Uh, one of these is going to lead, okay, to below deck. I think there's an engine room down here. Uh, where does this lead? Engineering. The heck is that? Uh, on. Feels like there needs to be a light down here. Is there a... Oh, what? It's kind of creepy down here. Maybe we should have done a uh, ghost ship on this. Ah, okay. This is going to be the engine rooms, the boilers, and stuff like that. Okay. All right, I got you. Uh, yeah, there is actually lights down here, too. What is this over here? Voltage. Ha! Huh. That's actually kind of cool. And there's some more lights. Okay, so that's under the deck here. Go ahead and check and see what else this ship has to offer. So, destructible creations in Stormworks are, uh, they're very unique because a lot of times they're held together by, like, magnets. Now, if you recall the last episode, uh, we had the planes that you could detach. Oh, these are actually kind of nice cabins. Ooh, I like that view, too. But yeah, you can detach, uh, parts of a plane and make it look like it crashed, and that's what we had last episode. Now, it's a little bit different, I think, with boats, though. So, we're going to be testing that out here today. You know, I just realized how ridiculous my character <laughs> looks. I hit the, the randomize button in the character creator, and it made me look like a weird minion. Wow, okay. That's something. All right, so we are back here in the bridge. We are ready to kick it up a couple notches. Let's go ahead and throttle up all the way here. All right, we're going to put this ship through its paces. This is a pretty skinny ship, so I can picture uh, if we were to get caught in some massive waves, that could be a, a bit of a thing here. So let's go ahead and go wind up here. Oh, yeah. All right, so this ship does have a destruction feature. It's called the Scuttle. I think it takes about two minutes. Uh, we're going to fight some waves real quick, see how it handles that, and then... Uh, we're going to do a little bit of sinking ship. Now, I don't know how this sinking ship's going to go because this is going to do something very unique that I haven't seen on a boat. And I'm actually really, really excited. Uh, let's go ahead and keep fighting them here. This is actually doing a pretty good job at fighting the waves. Now, if you get struck from the side, I'm pretty sure this thing might roll. But yeah, it's doing a very good job at the moment. Oh, boy. All right, those waves are getting pretty intense. So, uh, I guess we have a little bit of a ship emergency. So, maybe we can do some... Uh, some Morse code here, which I don't know Morse code. 
Uh, that way we can try to tell people that stuff's about to go down here. So we're going to hit the, uh, the scuttle button. And we're going to see exactly what happens. All right, so let's go. Scuttle is on. All right, let's go ahead and get back in the helm. All right, so my assumption is that it's letting in water. Wow, this thing is tilting a lot. It's letting in water right now, possibly? Is that what it's doing? I don't see any uh, inlets down there. Maybe it's on the side. All right, so this ship will break itself apart. And watch, that's... Uh, I've seen some ships do that in Stormworks. Well, actually, really, I think I've seen, like, one do it. But I don't think I've seen it do it with the magnets, uh, which I think this is what happens here. So I'm actually, uh, I'm really excited here. Actually, I just now saw the RMS Snowden Belfast on the back of it. So now we wait. We just try to survive here in these big waves. Oh, boy. You know, it's still actually uh, driving quite well. I can still steer it. Okay, so that's still a thing. Oh, we're getting shot up out of the water. Oh, boy. Is it letting water in right now? Uh, oh, yeah, you can see the water down. It kind of looks glitchy, but I believe there is water in the engine rooms right now. Oh, this thing is getting tossed around. Oh, this is cool. Uh-oh. Oh, there goes the front of it. The front of it is starting to really go down right now. Wait. The engines just shut themselves off. What the... Okay, uh, I think this is a, I think that was supposed to happen. I think it's a electrical failure. Uh, I think I read about this a little bit. All right, so right now we are completely dead in the water. Like I, I can't go anymore. Could we refire the engines? You know, I don't want to do that because I want to see what this thing does. So, oh yeah. Well, should we get out and walk to the back? No, we are, uh, we're going down pretty good here. Uh oh, the back's starting to raise up. Uh oh 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 come on this is cool this is really really cool I didn't know that you can uh, simulate like electrical failures and stuff like that so yeah we don't have any power for the engine anymore so we just sat here and uh, I guess we just wait for our ultimate demise oh oh the ship's starting to break apart I just watched the back end break. Uh oh, all right, there's a crack in the back end. Oh, that is cool. Uh oh, uh, is that letting in additional water? Oh boy, that is so neat. All right, that must be on a timer or something. All right, so I saw the back end started to crack there too. Uh, are we taking on additional water here or did it reattach itself? Oh, I can't tell. Is that thing completely separated? Oh, it is! Oh, there it goes! Oh, that is cool. Oh, that's gonna let in a lot more water. Uh-oh. Oh, he's still hearing stuff break. I think the front crane... One of the cranes, did it break off in the front? I saw something else move over there. And, oh, this thing's trying to tilt itself. Oh, it's trying to go over. Oh, this is too cool. I would love to see more creations like this that break themselves apart. Oh, look at that! The back end just cracked. It's trying to break itself off. I don't know if it completely comes off or not. Oh, look at that. Dude. Dude, that is cool looking. That is incredible. Oh, yeah, it's definitely going down now. Oh, it's going under. Oh, is that going to completely separate itself? Oh, it just did. Look at that. It just broke the ship. Oh, dude, that is crazy. Okay, we probably need to get out of this thing. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can turn on the flashlight. Oop, come on. There we go. Get out the starboard side. Dude, where's the back half of the ship? Where did it end up? Oh, there it is. It's coming down. Oh, man, if we see more creations like this, that is... That's the ultimate in sinking ship survival. I know I've had a lot of requests, or a lot of people ask, like, can people do this in Stormworks? And people are starting to figure out how this works, and that was incredible because it was, uh, it was a scripted event. It, it took a while to actually happen. Like, we had actual power failures. The thing took on water in the front, finally snapped the back half of it off. Man, I wonder, can we go down in that? Like, where did that snap at? I wouldn't say it quite snapped in half, but that was a uh, that was fairly close. Huh? I'm trying to go down here. Let's see. Can we see inside of the ship? Is the question. 
Could you imagine being inside of that when it snaps in half like that or it snaps open? That would be frightening. Oh yeah, you can see the compartments down here. Yeah, here's one of the uh one of the doors. And uh, would this be Oh, uh, this would have been right around the crew quarters. That is too cool. All right. Well, that's just a taste of the destruction today. I guess we should go ahead and move on uh, to the next one. That's amazing. All right. So I know a lot of people were asking about a uh, destructible helicopter from the last episode that we did with these creations. And uh, we actually have one here. So ooh, this is actually a nice looking helicopter. Oh, and so is the side open here? Does this thing have some functional stuff, or is it really just a... looks like it's just a standard, uh, I guess you would say passenger helicopter. Oh, let's hop into here. Alright. So, we have a helicopter that does some special stuff. So, we got the auto hover, there's brakes are on, landing gears on, cockpit lights, I'm assuming. Is that what that is? Oh, nope, that was, uh, I think that's what's attaching the, uh, those are your destructible buttons there. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I hope this still fires up. Okay, backlights are on. Let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, let's turn on auto hover. Interior lights. Nav lights are already on. Let's go ahead and turn off our brakes here. Alright, so we've got a destructible helicopter. So we are actually going to get to crash one of these. This is cool. It's like you're, uh, you're oddly enough playing something like Brick Rigs in Stormworks. Wow, this thing actually flies really well. Especially even against the wind here. Huh. This is nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get moving here. Fly it around for just a bit, and then we'll find a, uh, a spot where we'll have some sort of failure. Maybe we'll crash into an island or something. I don't know. Do they, we have these keyed? Uh, one thing that would be nice is to ha it would be nice to have these like keyed up to your like one, two, three, four, five buttons. Uh, that way you can just click it without having to actually look at the button in here. Not unless it is like that. Hold on, let's click one, two, three, four. No, they're not. Okay. I just wanted to be sure before I said that, uh, but yeah. So I'll actually uh, I'll have to look at the buttons uh, and click them. So maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll crash into the side of the cliff here. All right, so we're cruising along here. Uh oh, seems like we might have a failure happening. It would be a shame if we were to crash into the uh, the side of the cliff here. Uh, so we got the uh, the tail section and the cockpit both break off. I wish there was a way to slow down or do some sort of slow motion that way I can click them and zoom back out real quick so let's say you know let's go ahead and smash this thing into the side of the cliff here and come on come on let's go ahead and turn off that auto hover real quick there we go all right here we go so we're crashing into the side of the cliff so we can go boom and boom and oh <laughs> oh it snapped oh it did snap open uh oh 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 the blades are still going that's probably not the way I wanted to crash this thing. Let's see if we can get a little bit more high speed. But yeah, that would uh, really be nice to have these on like buttons that I can click real quick. Uh, let's go ahead and reset that. All right, so the best way to do this, I think, would be at full speed. That way we can get it to actually kind of launch the parts. I have a feeling that the middle part of the helicopter is that might actually stay up in the air here. So here we go. Let's go. Boom, boom. All right. There we go. Oh, uh oh, oh, I thought it was going to crash there. There goes the tail section. The front's trying to hold on. Oh, that is cool. Uh oh, oh, well, there we go. It is going to fly off, isn't it? Oh, on. We got to get out of the helicopter here. Oh, boy. Uh oh, oh, I'm going to get out this side. Uh, question is, is the is the blades, is all that still in the air on surface here? <laughs> I think it's still got the auto hover on. Oh, uh, that one's, uh, that's pretty cool. The front end comes off. I do, uh, I seem to like the planes a little bit better because the planes, when you hit something and you make all that stuff scatter, it looks extremely cool. Which, by the way, I do have a couple of planes that we're going to get to test out here. Man, I probably love destruction and crashes a little too much here. All right, so for our next creation, we're going big with the plane crash. This is a huge passenger plane that supposedly breaks apart. Now, I don't know how this one works. This is by a different creator than uh, the ones that I've actually uh, used in the uh, the previous episode. So, I don't know if this is gonna be like set to a button or how this is gonna work, but I do know I need a little stair car in order to get into this thing. This is actually a really, really big passenger plane. Oh boy. 
All right, so let's pull this bad boy right here. There we go. Uh, no, nope, are we still moving? Yep, we're still moving. Nope, nope, go, go back forward. I would be terrible at this in real life. There we go. All right, set that like that. Okay, is there a break on this? You know what? Let's just make a run for it here. All right, let's go upstairs. There we go. And let's get inside of this real quick. There we go. All right, so I think this actually... Yep, it reverses it and gets the scares away. All right, so... Let's go ahead and turn off the flashlight here. And, ooh! You're telling me this thing's gonna break apart? You know, I still think that we probably should try one of these in multiplayer, even though uh, we haven't had much success with creations that detach or have detachable items. Maybe this will be. Uh oh! Uh oh! What was that? Okay, that was the landing gear. Did okay. I'm, I probably want those on. I don't know why I turned those off. All right, so wings, tail, all. Okay, here's your destruction buttons over here. Uh, autopilot. Man, this is actually a really, really functional plane. You've got your uh, pilot controls, and you can switch them over to the co-pilot here. Unlock the engine ignitions. So there's those pilot lights. Let's go pilot, passenger, navigation lights. you got your brakes. Seatbelt sign. Let's go and turn that on. Okay, so brakes are... We're going to have those off. Oh, even look at this. You got like the different classes. This would be a first class here. You can uh, request service. That is awesome. And you got your, uh, would this be coach, I guess? I don't know. What is the difference? So you got first class and then you have like coach. Actually, this has got to be above. This almost looks like first class too. They got the little screens. That's neat. All right. And I'm assuming we have a pooper back here, right? <laughs> you can be in the pooper as the plane crashes. That'd be fun. All right, so question is, does this plane uh, take off? Sometimes I think whenever I use something like this and it's destructible, sometimes I think it messes with the physics a little bit in Stormworks. So let's see if we can actually get this thing off the ground. I should probably be standing up for this. There we go. Okay, so let's go engine on, engine on, engine on. Okay, so brakes are off. We got those seatbelt signs are on. Uh, okay, so there's our engine throttle. Can I control this? Oh, I've got to do the engine from in here. It's always a little awkward having to actually click the control. There's no, uh, nope, there's no hotkeys. All right, so we're going to pull out, and we're going to see. I don't know what this thing looks like when it breaks apart. I saw a couple pictures, but everything was already in the water. Oh, I really wish I could control the throttle with the W or the S, but this is going to work. All right, so let's just angle it. Okay, so we're angled. We're probably just got to punch it here. Let's go punch it. There we go. Autopilots, turn that on real quick. Actually, I probably didn't want to turn that on. Uh, on. Turn that off. Turn that off. No, we're already crashing. <laughs> okay. Uh, I probably didn't want to have that on because I probably wanted to pull up there. That was uh, my bad. Hold on. Let's see if we can still get this thing. Sometimes you can get stuff to take off in Stormworks in very odd ways. No, I have a feeling we're going to we're gonna be locked here. Uh. Yep, that is a that's a messy takeoff if I've ever seen one. All right, so I'm not gonna follow the taxi way here. I'm actually gonna take a really, really wide arc, and then uh, we're gonna turn. There we go. We'll give ourselves a little bit more runway to work with here. This time I won't hit the autopilot. I realize that probably basically stabilizes the craft, maybe. So I want to be able to pull up here. So let's angle it. There we go. Okay. All right, we're ready to full speed. There we go. Okay, let's start pulling up. Come on, buddy. Come on, you can do it. Get that speed. Get that speed. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, come on. There it goes. Yes, yes, uh oh Okay, it's lifting pretty aggressive. There we go. Beautiful, very beautiful. All right, let's turn on that autopilot real quick see what that does. Does that just uh, maintain the throttle? Which I'm assuming maybe it does and I just control it. I don't know, maybe I was just really bad at taking it off the first time. Alright, let's go ahead and put up a uh, landing gear. Okay, oh, probably should have had those landing lights on. Landing gear connector. Oh yeah, this one, uh, I forgot to mention, uh, this creator also has a pushback uh, for this particular jet, so you can uh, actually hook up and push it out. I think it just needs a, a stair car because I had to go download one because it's, uh, it's a little high to be able to just jump in. This is actually a really good plane. Like, this is stable. I almost argue if we're going to try a plane that blows apart multiplayer, this is going to be the plane to try it in. This is great. So, 
I can think of several different scenarios. Maybe you try to come in for a landing and crash. I kind of want to just blow this thing up over open water to see what the disconnection points are. Uh, I can read them on the wall over here, which it says, like, uh, there's tail, wings, the back section, and all. So I'm pretty excited to click the all button. Can I hit that from the cockpit? No, I have to be standing. Oh, that's awkward. Huh, can I hit it from this one? Oh, yeah. No? Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, so... Here we go. Actually, we're gonna break up over the uh, the mega island here. So let's go all in three, two, one, click. Oh, oh, that was cool. Oh, the back end completely left the plane. What was that? Was that the coach class? <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, that is amazing. Man, somebody could be sitting in the back and they just fly off. Okay, we're gonna have to try this in multiplayer. I don't care if we get desynced. If we can get the crash there, that would be cool. Let me know if you guys, do you want to see this in multiplayer? I might have to save the other plane uh, for multiplayer too. Hold on, let's try to escape this thing real quick. <laughs> we completely lost one of the classes. Wow. I love these creations. So, oh, there goes the wing. Is that the tail section? Well, I believe it is. There's that. There goes another wing over there. You know, I think we're gonna save some of the uh, some of the other ones. We might have to reuse this one. That was incredible. Uh, you can see the big magnets that are attached there that are holding this thing together. Wow, I absolutely love this. So uh, watch what happens when you bring this back to the uh, actual uh, workbench, and it's gonna spawn again, but it's gonna be broken up. So you can see. Yeah, you can see just which parts uh, actually broke off. So you can see the uh, the back section that snapped off, uh, the tail snapped off. That that is amazing. I love these creations. All right, let's despawn this real quick. All right, so the last destructible thing we're gonna do for this episode, we'll probably save everything else for uh, maybe multiplayer. So maybe we'll do like some uh, more multiplayer plane crash survival. Uh, but White Noise has created a destructible wall, so I'm kind of curious about this. He said it, it said it was laggy. Oh, yeah, it is definitely laggy. So I'm assuming that's just a bunch of pieces. How do you not connect those? How do you just lay them on top of each other like that? Actually, the lag got a little bit better there. So I'm assuming this is just like a brick wall that we could smash through. Oh, boy. You know, it would be cool if we can just get some, uh, some actual destruction in Stormworks, which I don't know if that's maybe a plan or something for the future. But it would be nice to be able to see some of the, the blocks be able to be destroyed, say if you make a collision, or like the plane, say you, I don't know, land bad or something. Did we really just flip over? Really? Oh, what happens when we spawn this back at the workbench? Dang it. Well, that was embarrassing. Uh-oh. Oh, we just spawned it. Actually, well, there you go. That's what it looks like. Oh, that gets really laggy when that stuff starts to move. Oh, that is incredibly laggy. Oh, there goes the wall. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, wow. The frame rate has tanked. That is just a bunch of loose bricks. That is cool. Okay, maybe this is why we can't have destructible things. I am probably, uh, I think I'm probably getting like five frames a second right now because of that wall. That's cool. But anyways, I, I do want to see the uh, the workshop expand upon those because I think that's a uh, that shows a lot of promise for like your little custom scenarios, maybe even actual custom missions. Uh, you can incorporate stuff like uh, the destruction. That would be cool. But yeah, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. This was uh, absolutely fun. Uh, like I said, we'll probably do another creations episode with maybe some missions and then we'll do some multiplayer. But you guys got to let us know what you want to see there. But yeah. Be sure to check out the uh, links in the description for the creations, and we'll see you guys next time in Stormworks.